one it is Emerald Wild Dia, your forest fairy. So I am completely dressed like elfin fairy today because I was taking some pictures for my little small business I have called Emerald Elven. I have an Etsy shop and I will link it in the description if you guys want to go check. So I just made some really beautiful new pieces that I'm like really excited about. One is over here. So I make like resin daggers that are made with like dried flowers and really beautiful. And I wanted to make them into like a wall art that you could just have on your wall. And so I made these. So they look like they're just sitting on a wood slice. They give me, you know, magical forest vibes. So if you guys are interested in getting a Christmas gift for someone or a little gift for yourself, go check out my Etsy shop. So let's get into what this video is about. And today we are going to be doing a brand review on Aerie. So I personally have really loved Aerie for a long time. One of the big reasons is because they're very, like they're, they have just body inclusivity, but also they highlight disabled models, which I really love. Um, companies can jump on bandwagons of like being sustainable, even though let's all jump on that bandwagon. And you know, being body inclusive, being, you know, just race inclusive, everything like that. And so I know sometimes it's like, is a brand just doing this to make money or is that what they truly believe? And we may never know, but Aerie has done this be since like before the big wave of like all the companies doing this. Like now Victoria's Secret has changed their business model and uses, you know, all types of women because that is the world. We all have different bodies, we all have different, you know, health issues. All of us are just different as humans. So I really like Aerie because they started showing models with, you know, all different body types, all different races, all different disabilities which is really close to my heart. I was born with a genetic condition called, okay, it's a really big word. Basically, I just call it urinary reflux. That's like the layman's term. Um, it's a common condition that babies can be born with and it's usually diagnosed at birth, corrected, and no issues throughout your life. But mine wasn't, um, picked up or diagnosed by the doctor until I was five years old and I had like uh, severe kidney damage from that. So my entire life I've been told that I would most likely need a kidney transplant, that my kidneys, they were basically like, since I was five years old, they just never grew <laughs> because they were so damaged. So I always knew that I probably would eventually be needing a kidney transplant but it kind of all happened so fast like i'm just living a life going to college i have a job i was a photographer at a studio um, i was in college at the time and then all of a sudden um i was on dialysis <laughs> and dying <laughs> so i had a catheter in my chest and i will be showing all my scars in this video so i had a catheter that was in my chest and it like it was a came out with like a port basically to connect to the dialysis machine because dialysis is basically a machine to replace your kidneys but it doesn't it doesn't work like your all of your kidneys should so it really just cleans your blood and takes excess fluid out your kidneys are basically your body's brita filter <laughs> That's like an easy way to think about it. Your kidneys are what filters most things that come in your body. And once you don't have that ability anymore, you get put on dialysis, which is a machine. That's why you need a catheter to connect to the machine. And they clean all your blood out. So you sit there for three hours and all your blood goes in the machine. And while it's clean, blood is coming back in. So yeah, you're not like just no blood. <laughs> it's extremely exhausting. It's painful. Um, all I could do was like throw up and pass out after dialysis. It was really, really, really 
horrible and the most traumatic experience of my life. And then seven months, I was only on dialysis for seven months, luckily, yay. Seven months later, my sister donated her kidney to me. Thank you, I love you so much. I'll link her channel down below, by the way. She has like a really great channel too that also has reviews and stuff. So yes, my sister donated her kidney to me and now I am here, no longer on dialysis. Um, just doing the best I can. <laughs> I try to live life like every day really could be your last. And I don't mean that as in like going skydiving or whatever. I'm very big on self-preservation <laughs> from everything I've gone through. I want to live. I fought really hard to be here. I mean that as in really appreciating your loved ones, appreciating your life, even when things aren't going great or you're not in the spot you want to be in. I'm nowhere near where I thought I would be at this age. And a lot of it was because I have so much health issues that I just couldn't live an able-bodied life. So that is my transplant story. So that's why I really love this brand. Not only do they have great like underwear and bras and like leggings and comfortable clothes like that, they also carry like underwear for people with disabilities, like easy snap underwear where you don't have to pull things up and bras like that. And I think that that is truly, truly amazing. So I really wanted to do a review to bring, you know, more awareness to that side of the company that there's people there's girls out here with disabilities that see that and are truly inspired i am truly inspired to see models that show their scars and share their stories because i think that's what makes you know all of us unique and beautiful so i'm going to be doing a try on of some of the stuff that i've gotten from this is like their winter collection and I have to do a warning. I chose like mainly one color. <laughs> I really am vibing with green, like dark green, forest green for fall and winter. It's such a beautiful color to me right now. It just reminds you of the forest and being in nature. I literally bought a dark green comforter for my bed and I got all these underwear in like dark green, except like a couple. Um, so yeah, let's go and do the review. I guess I'm going to do this entire video with my fairy ears on. All right, so my first things that I got were these leggings, which once again, I got a dark green and they're waffle print. And then they have the crossover band, which is, you know, really flattering and cute, but it's like a, can you see that? I'm trying to zoom up. Close. There we go. It's like a waffle le um, leggings, which is so cute for um, winter. They're not as thick as I thought they were gonna be. They're thin, which I mean, it's whatever your preference is. Um, I would say these are definitely like leggings that I would wear under stuff in winter, like just under another pair of pants or whatever I'm wearing there. And then I got this bralette, cause it matched all my, um, all my underwear and the leggings and I thought it was super cute it actually has like a really faint plaid looking lace you see that so it's giving you you know very winter vibes cute I would wear the leggings with this and then like a long cozy flannel and my own boots perfect winter outfit all right so this is what I'm going to be trying on first this little let's put that outfit to life So here are the leggings. I'm wearing my fuzzy socks. Here are the leggings in the bralette. The leggings are so comfortable. I'm gonna wear these all day. I love the angle. All right, so now I'm gonna try on 
all the different underwears they have and I got like different styles and different fabrics. All right, so here is the first one. This is a bikini style and it's like full backed. Has a little airy logo on the side. This is like a super, 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 super comfortable. Super comfortable. So here is my transplant scar. It goes from here, down, like a hat, little, like a little smiley face. Um, my surgeon was a woman, so you know she knows exactly what she's doing. <laughs> but it's pretty easy to cover because it's literally right on like my bikini line. So these are, I think, a new style. They're also like the bikini, um, but they're low rise. So they go kind of low. So I really love this. All right, so these are the, their little briefs and their Christmas pattern. So they have some Christmas underwear. Next. These ones are like kind of high waist. They're very comfortable. So if you like that high waist style, better than low rise or bikini styles or whatever, these would be really great. Cool. And they're cute, they have this, this is like a, you know, winter looking, let me try to get it close. <laughs> it's like a winter looking lace design. So I think they're really cute. Even if you wanted to like fold them, you can, cause that's just, that's just lace. So, I really like these. These are super comfortable. It's like a, almost like a cable knit design on them. All right, so I only got two thongs. So this is one of the thongs. And it looks just like that bikini one, like the bikini style one, just, you know, a thong. Super comfortable. All right, so this is the last one. Just a low rise nude color thong. I just wanted something to wear, you know, when you don't want, when you don't want to be wearing underwear, but you want to wear underwear. So this one definitely, it's just, it, it's so comfortable. So everything was thumbs up. If you want to check out my Etsy shop, link in description. If you want to see more videos and content, link in description and guys thank you all so much for watching bye